Morning, everybody. So, kind of running late today, not doing the best breakfast ever. Um, as I said yesterday, my husband made Grand's biscuits, so that's what we're having. We're having one biscuit with uh, spray butter, which we counted five sprays, and we scanned the barcode, so that is in there. And it's not much of anything, but still has butter taste and I know it's like all chemicals and stuff it's not that great for us but um, that's what we're having on our biscuit because we are a little behind on time and yesterday was such a failed day that we did not really meal prep anything like we wanted to um, so hopefully today we can get some meal prep stuff done so I am having my coffee, chicken coffee, going to eat that biscuit, and I'm going to head off to work, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Um, I don't have anything packed with me right now for lunch, like I said, because the meal prep was not that great. I uh, might go out, I mean, I might go get a salad somewhere or something good. I know Subway has these new wraps that I really want to try, uh, so I might go out for lunch. If not, I have stuff in my desk. Um, so I'm not going to, like, get something really bad. But I'll show you guys later. Okay. Have a great day. Hey, guys. I just pulled into work, and I just wanted to say real quick. Uh, I heated up that biscuit in the microwave, and I think I overcooked it. And it wasn't even good. It was, like, rubber. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed that I wasted 171 calories on it and a bunch of carbs, pretty sure. Uh, I have two cuties and an apple to eat, so I should be fine, but it goes to show you guys, like, looking back on it, um, I had protein bars that I could have grabbed, like, I was looking for something fast, and just got caught up, and there were better choices that I could have made, so, that's about it. Alright, later. Hey guys, so, finished my Monday night workout, uh, Never miss a Monday, that's what they say. Like I'm still kind of shaking. Um, so I did week one, day one of Couch to 5K. So I'm starting that officially. Uh, so in nine weeks, I should be running a 5K. Um, that's, the, that's the hope anyway. Um, I'm going super slow at first and uh, pacing myself so I'm not uh, burning myself out on the treadmill. Um, but I did, you know, the first week of January was just walking on it. So I feel like I'm ready to kind of take it up a notch. Oh my god. Okay. I'm serious, guys. My arms are killing me. Um, so after I did Couch to 5K, I did uh, Kettlebell. Hold on. I forgot I hadn't stopped my watch. Okay. Because I just literally sat down. Um, I did Kettlebell, a workout that I found on YouTube. Um... So that's my kettlebell bit there, and that's my Didi cat. Say hi, Didi. Who's the hat? Um, yeah, so that felt good. I didn't do exactly what the workout was because I have not lifted that kettlebell in a really long time. Um, so that was a new experience, and the inside of my thighs are on fire. So I was doing kettlebell swings and kettlebell presses, I guess you would call them, where you like throw it up to yourself and then push it overhead. I was doing those and that's probably why my arms are broken right now. So real quick today, guys, food. I didn't show you a lot. Um, the biscuit, not good. And I actually went out to lunch and we went to, uh, Friday night coworker and I went to a place called Cilantro and it's like Chipotle, but it's not a, it's not the chain. It's actually a locally owned place. It's so good, guys. Um, so I had a salad bowl, rice, uh, chicken, and guasacaca is what it's called. It's their guacamole that's actually spicy. And it was phenomenal. And I did have shredded cheese on it. That was my bad. I did not have queso, which was a success. And I didn't have chips with it or anything like that. So it was just a salad bowl and no dressing on it because before I would have got the queso and ranch on top of that. So big changes, guys.
big changes. I have to just keep switching you because my arms hurt so bad. Um, but that's good. We're excited about it. So the dinner tonight, um, uh, last minute, found out that we had to take a trip to the mall, which is about 20 minutes away from my house. Uh, my husband's car battery died this morning, so we, last minute tonight when I got home, he uh, wanted to go over there. So I rode over there with him and um, had to have dinner out as well. So that's lunch and dinner that we ate out today, guys. So on... Uh, we ended up going to Burger King, um, so I had a side salad, which was a decent size. My husband thought it was kind of sad, but I thought it was a fairly good amount. And I ordered the 10-piece nuggets that are like $1.49, um, counted the calories for those, and I ate five out of the 10, and I gave my husband the other five. Huge success. Um, also with the salad, they asked if I wanted croutons. I told them no. And dressings, they had a light honey balsamic, uh, which I didn't know if I would like, but it was the only light dressing that they had. And so I had it, I got it, and had half of the packet. So I didn't even use the whole thing. Oh my gosh, okay. I should stop filming and finish this up later, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Um, do you see me still, I'm still sweaty and gross? Okay. Also with the nuggets, she asked what kind of sauce. I told them honey mustard and then gave those to my husband as well. So huge successes today, guys. Even though we ate out, we made good choices and that's the important thing because you can do it no matter what. Um, don't think you can never leave your house because you don't know how to eat out. Just, just be conscious of everything that you're ordering and everything that you're eating. And that's what we did. We came home, even though it was eight o'clock, we came home and went straight to working out. Did an hour, it's about an hour, 10 minutes uh, workout. And it's nine o'clock now. And I'm done for the day, guys. Like, I'm exhausted. My arms are exhausted. My legs are exhausted. And it feels fantastic. So I'm going to go shower, hit the bed. I'm going to sleep so well. Um, yeah. And we'll do it again tomorrow because this is our entire 2017, guys. We are one day at a time, taking it in strides, and killing it. So. Hope you guys had a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.